Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans and corn are both higher on Tuesday, supported by expectations for harvest delays in some key U.S. growing areas over the next few days or so. And it is feasible that widespread rainfall and even flooding could trim some points off corn and soybeans' good to excellent ratings, which are historically good for this time of year. Wheat was the leader, though, for grains and oil seeds, with Minneapolis in the driver's seat on the continued concerns about crop quality and harvest delays in parts of Canada. Also, some portions of the USMCA, the new trade deal between the United States, Mexico, and Canada, are considered to be favorable for the grading of U.S. wheat and could lead to new export demand. Live and feeder cattle were modestly higher ahead of the week's widespread direct cash cattle business. Pretty typical Tuesday with no real interest in trading as of yet. Buying interest could improve after the Fed cattle exchange results Wednesday, or widespread trade could wait until the second half of the week. And hogs were mixed, mostly lower on spread trade and profit taking after some of the recent strength. Also, pork was down at midday and cash business during the session was steadied lower. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.